Hello, welcome back to It's New. It seems like we lost two of ourselves. Um, I guess not enough people commented that they like this show. Well, we got a lot of comments, so I appreciate it. We got a lot that. of comments. It really meant a lot to me and Greg. Not much not much to Morty and Crystal, no. I guess. No. <laughs> that being said, uh, we got some news to cover. Um, uh, I'll be talking about the Google Shopping updates and some Google ranking volatility. What do you got, Greg? Huge news. A large marketing SaaS platform lands search engine news publication. Yada, yada, yada. All right. So Google announced a bunch of new shopping features. So a lot of the stuff we actually covered before, we, we spot a lot of the tests before they actually come on board. Um, this one is research with AI, which we covered a few weeks ago, where Google's like using their AI to tell you uh, I don't know, information about products that they researched using AI. I'm sure Greg will have some comments on that. They also have a personalized shopping fee that was redesigned to make it more personalized for you, including larger product images, popular categories, and a more clean, modern feel. And finally, there's a new deal finding tools to help you find deals using price comparisons, price insights, price tracking throughout, and a new dedicated and personalized deal page where you could browse deals just for you. Um, you could turn some of, of these actions off if you want to, if you want to turn off the personalization because privacy is important. Um, and for merchants like you guys who are curious, like, how do I get in here? You got to do nothing. Just keep doing what you're doing. Use Merchant Center. Use the shopping feeds. Use the schema. Do everything what you're doing. Keep the ads. Um, and you should be fine. Greg, what do you think about this news? Yeah, I, this is a little bit different than the AI implementation we saw last week, right? Where last week there was sort of in the results, um, an AI, which uh, like overview almost, that would take you off the site to different locations. They had three of those different cards in that example. In this example, somebody had searched for like, what's the best uh, jacket to wear in Seattle? And it kind of just gave you a summary at the top. So for me, if I'm trying to use shopping and actually find products, this makes more sense because it's like, here are some things to consider. Here's this. And that kind of sum summarizes a bunch of the actual product data. Um, that's what I had asked for to a couple of weeks ago. Like make it easy where Amazon pulls out things and say, hey, on average, people thought that the durability lacked, but the performance was great or something like that. So I think I think that makes sense. I was kind of surprised, Barry, that they had recommended those uh, those Chelsea boots for you. I can't really see you in those, in the for you section there. Um, and then I think the deals could be cool. It just, I've never really seen it do anything at the moment. Um, but this is really them moving in a hard step forward towards being a shopping destination you know, like trying to take it, take on something like maybe not an Amazon, but being able to have people go and browse more, right? People only use it right now to go find stuff. And I think this could be cool. Be like, Hey, you're looking for stuff. You don't want to just be on Amazon. You want to go, you know, get anything in Google's feed and merchant center feeds. Cool. I like it. Yep. I mean, Google is trying, but like I always say, tell my kids and anybody who I mentor, trying is the first step to failure. So <laughs> I think that's like a Homer Simpson quote or something. I don't know. Anyway, talking about failure, Google search ranking volatility up again. We have more volatility. It's like people, Google cannot make up their mind. Sites are up, sites are down, sites are up, sites are down. It's the new normal, but it's the longest heated volatility period for like well well beyond we ever saw. It's like Google didn't unplug whatever they, they plugged in on, on the core update back in August. It just keeps going. It's pretty crazy. Um. I feel like Let's move one, on to, go ahead. I feel like one server just has some issue over there and they can't figure it out. You know what I mean? Just yeah, causing, really causing chaos. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, what do you got? What do you want to talk about, Greg? All right. Well, I saw an interesting article over on Search Engine Land this morning. SEMrush acquires Search Engine Land. And in case you don't know what SEMrush is, it's a uh, SaaS marketing platform. And they have purchased what appears to be Search Engine Land. SMX and all of the different publications. So things like MarTech um, and I assume those conferences as well. And the biggest question, did they get search engine roundtable, Barry? No, they do not get, nobody okay. gets search. People ask me, would I ever sell it? No, I would never sell it. Um, they, I don't know if they even asked for it. I mean, I get emails all the time. I just hit delete. Um, <laughs> but no, search engine roundtable is my baby. You cannot have it, Greg. Nobody else could have it. But they do have uh, third door media properties, including search engine land, XMX, MarTech, uh, Digital Marketing Depot. I think that's it. I'm not sure what else there is. Okay, so second question that many people are, are wondering. You've written tens of thousands of articles over on Search Engine Land. 
yesterday you told our audience that you would write even if nobody's reading it. Will you still be writing at Search Engine Land? The plan is for me to stay on and continue to write at Search Engine Land exactly how I was doing before. Nothing is nothing's changing from what I'm told. Um, that's the PR spin, and I'm going to stick with that. Are we only getting some rush charts now? Oh, somebody just asked DM me that. I'm like, no. <laughs> that was one of my first questions. Like, can I use competitor stuff? And they said, of course. I mean, I, mean, I asked. Them, I didn't ask them directly. I'm not involved in talking directly to whatever lawyers there are there. It was just I asked the person in charge at Search at Third Door Media. Anything's going to have to change with me? No, nope, everything's going to stay the same. We promised, and it's all part of the whole package. So nothing should change from what I'm told. Okay. And then they got SMX and everything too. So it seems like uh, something that we've seen more and more HubSpot. Um, I know Derek Mullins just uh, mentioned that over on X going and buying some media. I know they bought uh, Backlinko. Um, they bought Exploding Topics or exp whatever. What's that topics one? Exploding Topics? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So just doing more acquisitions. So your, your writing will not change, correct, Barry? It will only, yeah, I mean, it might get worse over time because that's a little <laughs> bit older. Uh, but I don't, I mean, it shouldn't change. I don't know. I mean, I, honestly, I told them if I, I can't write the way I, I write, I will, I will leave. So, I mean, they said, you know, there's no reason for you to leave. We're not, nothing's going to change. So that's, that's what I'm being told. So I see no reason for me to leave. So. Awesome. Is there any, were there any talks about purchasing of the it's new YouTube and show and podcast. I cannot talk about speculative uh, acquisitions that may or may not be happening in the future, uh, but I think our show should be okay. But now that we kind of talked about them, it's it might be off the table. So I'm sorry you're not going to be cashing in, Greg. <laughs> well, I, I wouldn't cash in on this. Um, <laughs> so I guess I guess the way you see it, just to give a good quick summa summation here, is um, business as usual for Search Engine Land, new owners. Um, nothing that you can at least know of from a change standpoint. As far as I hear, nothing's changing. It's just new owners. I think the original owners, it, it, it solves, I will say it solves the Danny Sullivan problem um, where he now is at Google and he owned a share, I think, from what I heard the latest, that he did own a share of, of Search Engine Land and Third Door Media. And that was kind of a conflict, even though he never had any at all, any inkling of any bias or anything in terms of like any encourage to tell us anything about what we should write or what we shouldn't write. I mean, I haven't really spoken to him about any content that I've written on the search engine land since he left um, and went to Google. Um, but that solves that news because now he doesn't own any ownership in third or media or search engine land or XMX, which is great. So that's, a, that's one of the benefits, the media benefits of this acquisition. And obviously there's going to be other benefits. Summarch is a much larger company, has more money, and hopefully um, they can replicate more writers and write a lot more. So we'll see. I don't know if there's people that can write more than you, but yeah, I think, I think that, you know, I know there was a disclaimer that came out, um, you know, on search engine land with Danny. And I think that's another gr additional benefit of, of this, uh, as well. So, right. I cool. mean, again, I don't know the details. I'm not, I'm not an owner. So, I mean, I, I have a tiny, I got a tiny little share on this, but I don't know the details about who got what or anything, but, um, I'm just a writer. I'm a contractor actually, technically I'm not even an employee. So, um, I don't know. I mean, I think the Sullivan problem is solved. I don't know if there's anything written about that. And hopefully I won't get sued for saying that. <laughs> well, I apologize if uh, I, I put you in that place. But I mean, it seems like a, it seems like a, a, a good purchaser, I would say, like a, a good company to, to yeah. do, instead of somebody coming in, that's like a news publication that's trying to like, you know, just pick up things and, and bleed them dry. Like I, I'm assuming that, that some rush is going to want this to work. I, I, I assume so. Everything we've heard so far and yeah, it could have been a lot worse, I guess, from like, it could have been private equity, I guess. You hear right. about, stories about that. So who knows? But this looks, this, I mean, this looks like a good fit for the industry, for search engine land and all the properties. So looking forward to see what happens. Cool. All right. That's it. All right. Everyone have a great day. And if, uh, oh, actually we're not back until probably Monday. I'm not sure what's going to happen next week. So just stay tuned, stay subscribed. You'll get videos as as, as they pop up. And I will be offline Thursday and Friday. Um, so anything I post on social or on Search Engine, uh, Search Engine Roundtable or even Search Engine Land are stuff that's pre-written. Uh, and there will be a video that I'm going to record later today for the Friday video, uh, which is actually Wix is a sponsor of that. So stay tuned. We love Wix, right? Wix.com, Wix.com, Wix.com. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.